happen in New York stay in New York? No, it doesn't, and we need to fight it. Hello, I'm Amy Zaby with the Jerusalem Connection Red Alert Report for August 30. Andrew Pesson shared to the Facebook group Anti-Zionism on Campus, the University, Free Speech, and BDS, disturbing reports over the last months as communities are preparing to send their students back to the classroom. We have shared these stories over the past months about anti-Semitism and its unbridled rise in the academic community from our K-12 institutions and classrooms to our university campuses and the global associations that connect them all. UC Santa Cruz and NYU Law School will set the stage for an inaugural conference of the Institute for the Critical Study of Zionism this October. It figures that a California school will be partnering with a New York school in the continuing endeavor to shroud anti-Semitism in the fog of academic elitism. Its very mission and vision are the embodiment of erasing what might be considered a core component of Jewishness and what connects the diverse Jewish community that makes up Jewish people as a whole. The mission and vision of the Institute. The Institute is aimed to de-link the study of Zionism from Jewish study, presenting Zionism as a subject for critical inquiry rather than a movement for Jewish self-determination. The bent on which the founder is on is evident in her own words. Amelia Gelman of Spark Plug Foundation, trustee and co-founder of the Institute, said in a revealing podcast interview recently that Israel Studies programs were deliberately created not to study Israel in a critical way, but to center pro-Zionist ideas about Israel as if it's possible to separate this incredibly violent process of colonization that every Israeli is involved in every day. She continues, Zionist institutions long before they were Zionists were involved in anti-communism and what you might think of now as Orientalism but we just call it racism if we want. In her interview on this recent podcast, she continued on saying, quote, without minimizing how Zionism operates directly on Palestinians, we want to tie it to the much larger Western supremacy and white supremacy. Reflecting on the roots of Zionist organizations, she commented, even before it was a Zionist organization, the Anti-Defamation League was fundamentally a white organization a settler organization. Her co-founder goes on to say, we understand that a critique of Zionism is part and parcel of a field that takes as its mandate a critique of all forms of imperialism. This from Professor Christine Hong. The presuppositions presented here by these founders are not only alarming, but they prove the point that these so-called academics are nothing more than propagandists espousing an agenda. I think Goebbels would be very proud of these women. And to remind you all once again, follow the money. The money will lead you to the real agenda. Some of the co-sponsors to this event are classic pro-BDS organizations such as Jewish Voice for Peace, National Students for Justice in Palestine, and an additional sponsor, Friends of the Seville North America, whose director titled it a terrorist organization. Together with five other Nonprofit Palestinian organizations, this institute is underway and getting organized. Now, the article goes on to connect this institute and its players to various other CRT, DEI, anti American, and anti Western curriculum developers in California and a variety of places around the U.S. However, the article concludes with a warning I think even Dietrich Bonhoeffer would agree with but lament. What this means, this appears to be the most institutionalized iteration of the recent movement to separate Jews from Zionism, representing a strategic shift in the anti-Zionist or anti-Semitic strategy. This institute may be a harbinger of what's yet to come. If left unchecked years from now, there could be an entire university department of critical Zionist studies dedicated to studying critical Zionism theory in universities across the U.S., thus inculcating anti-Semitism into the next generation of Americans. Please be in prayer about this. Be prepared to fight against it. Contact your local universities when you see these kinds of events cropping up and voice your opinions and tell your friends. Share these articles to your social media sites and to your friends and networks. 
Shibuto, and have a great week.